And she said, when you feel love in the home, you don't look for it anywhere else. One of the things I've seen across the board with all of these young women is that they have very, very strong, positive relationships with their fathers. The fathers have been investing in their daughters from a very young age. And I know of a young girl who her dad has taken her out to brunch once a week since she was a little girl. Maybe there was no big, exciting conversations, but it was time just being spent together. Now the daughter is in college and she openly will tell her dad if she has a crush on a guy or if she's interested in somebody or if she's got questions about marriage proposals that are coming her way. And the dad is being taken into confidence. And one of the things uh, this young woman once told me is that had a big impact on her is she once felt uncomfortable around a certain uncle in the community. And that uncle was a good friend of her father's. She just mentioned it to her dad. The uncle hadn't done anything. It was just kind of a sixth sense that she felt around him. And she expected her dad to defend him, to tell her not to think like that, to not, you know, make any kind of assumptions. But instead, she said, her father said to her, always trust your instincts when it comes to men. So there have been valuable conversations happening. These young women who I admire have very strong relationships with their fathers. And if there isn't a father in the picture, they have an uncle or an older brother, somebody who takes time out to be with them. Dr. Leonard Sachs talks about this in the book, Girls on the Edge. He said that girls in high school who don't engage in premarital sexual relations, who don't engage in drug experimentations, he said across the board what those girls had in common was they had a father who showed up to all of their events, a father who showed up to their spelling bees and their sporting events, letting her know that she's valued.